So, in terms of like reviewing the season, I'd say that we've had an okay season to be fair. Like, did we have a better one than last year? Yeah, points wise, we did. Like, that's just factual. We did. We got two more points than we did last year, which, to be honest, in the position we are in, that does make the difference. Am I happy with it? Obviously, listen, I think as Palace fans, we do want the top 10. We want to do better. We want to do, you know, we want to play some good football. I just think that basically how I'm basically just talking right now is basically how our season kind of was dull, boring. We did kind of what was expected. The pundits need to stop wanking off Roy, but that's just how it is, I guess. He's a nice chap. And he deserves the respect, but goodness gracious, like, the guy has left us in a bad position. Like, we're in the season, right? I thought we were going to build something. We got Eze in, great, but now he's ruined his Achilles. Ferguson, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly down for maybe moving Ferguson to centre-back for, like, 2022 and just bringing in the right-back just so we have someone to replace. Um well, it's like a long term, because for me, I love um, Klein, I love Wood, but I just think we need someone younger in that position now. Um, personally, centre back wise, we're, we're in a terrible position, and that is Roy's fault. Left back were good, so yeah, uh, midfield is was good. That was great this season. Oh, okay, no, sorry, 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 I'm afraid. That was average. What I mean by great is, like, there wasn't really any issues with it. Luca's quite slow now, sadly, but that is what it is. Attack-wise, we've been carried. We've actually been carried by the attack this season. Before, Palace have been able to survive off our defence. Honestly, we had a class defence. Sacco, Tompkins, Juan Saka, Van Anok used to keep us in the league with Guaya. You know what I mean? That was literally prime Palace, but... <clears throat> Eze, Zaha, Benteke have kept us in this league and credit to them big big credit to them there's nothing really else to say apart from really that to be honest that we have an average season Roy's announced he's going so I can't exactly sit here and be like oh let's run we, we got what we want I said it, Roy shouldn't be sacked you know that's happened and for me we need to reveal this summer maybe even 11 players generally I'm back I'm I'm all for going down the route of let's promote youth. If we get relegated, sells so are even that's where it's gotta be. But yeah, we've had a good season. I'm gonna rate our season six out of ten. Hi Tristan, this is my um season review of the twenty twenty one season for Crystal Palace. Obviously gutted that we couldn't go well I couldn't go to any games, but my review. So we started the season off well, obviously, winning the first two games at home to Southampton and away to Man United. But overall, oh, oh, we've been... This is the poorest season, I think, we've had in terms of results, especially against the bigger teams. Apart from Man United, all the other teams, we've just been slapped around. I mean, all right, we did draw away to Arsenal and drew at home to Spurs, but apart from that, like, City, Liverpool, that 7-0 to Liverpool was shocking... Um, and quite a few bad results against other teams we should be beating. 3-0 against Burnley was a big one. 2-0 to Leeds, 3-0 to Villa, um, even 2-0 to Newcastle when we threw away two goals right at the end. But ultimately, I just think that Palace, their squ- the squad's got too old now, and you can see the talent of Eze seeping through. Obviously, that. Obviously, the fact that he's injured now, possibly till the end of the year, is a massive letdown. But, I mean, apart from that, our players, we've, we've had a few injuries, obviously, but, I mean, I can't really pick out a good player this year. Obviously, Zaha with 11 goals, Benteke with 10 as well. Benteke is one of them players who's really stood up this year. Um, I think Townsend has done all right. Our midfield... Our midfield needs strengthening in the, in the summer. Um, the only midfielder who I would accept in the midfield is Riedewald. Everyone else, Mac- McCarthy is past it. Lucas past it. Um, Van Arnold as well, getting the bin. Uh, Mitchell, 
Mitchell is another really good player. But I just think in terms of our results and the cup competitions as well, it's the second year in a row we've been knocked out in the first round of both competitions. Got knocked out against Bournemouth in the Carabao Cup where Wayne Hennessy treated a penalty like a goal kick. And then um, we lost 1-0 to Wolves in the third round of the FA Cup where we had no shots on target. And hopefully my my personal manager that I want is Frank Lampard. But I just I just can't. Hopefully next season we we need to invest in the summer, put some money into the club. Don't just chuck one million pound at a goalkeeper, or a loan player. Thank you, Justin, for having me on. This is my Crystal Palace review. If I'm looking over here a lot, this is where I have my uh, notes of the season. But we kick it off with where we finish. We finish 14th with 44 points. Uh, we finish one point. Ahead of last season, we got 43, but we still finished full team, so not really much improvement. I think we're playing better, to be fair, but Rose last season, I think he tried new ch tactics near the end. As you can see, we lost to Arsenal, we lost to Liverpool. I think we could have at least got a point against Liverpool, but Arsenal, the well, we could have got a point as well, but we lost near the end. Um, but, yeah, I think uh, we could have easily got a point, as I said, against Liverpool. Zaha could have buried his chance, but Alisson made a great save, and Townsend could have buried it, but you don't score them all. Moving on to the best player of the season, I'd give it to Kiate. I think he's been so solid at the back. Um, he just filled in as we had injuries, but when you go back to CDM against Arsenal and he played CDM for 20 minutes against Liverpool, obviously before James Tomkins' injury, I think he was just lost, like... He wasn't playing, you couldn't see him in the telly as much, but he's just played so much better at centre-back and I feel like we're more solid and we trust more of the back line when we have Kiate. I think our best centre-back is Mitchell, um, Cahill, Kiate, and then Klein. Um, personally, I don't think Klein will be here at the end of the season, sadly, as I don't think they will renew him. Uh, they're not playing him for the last month or two of the season. They didn't play him once. I think he could have easily played against Arsenal when Butland got a chance and stuff like that. And we didn't play Luca and players like that. But um, yeah, obviously Ward's the first choice. And then obviously if we keep Klein, I think Ferguson won't get a game next season. We can't play three right backs. Well, we can, but it's going to be very hard, especially with Martin Kelly also getting a chance to go right back and centre back. Um, but obviously top scorer both I didn't give him player of the year but he has been there when we have needed him he scored um, he scored goals when we needed him and he's he's the best player outside the top 6 in my in my opinion not including Spurs as obviously they have Son and Bergwijn and great players but yeah I think he is the best player outside the top 6 I think we performed this season better than last as much as we were one point ahead in the same position I think we um, performed better as we had a great start last se last season, we had um, we lost well, we drew with Everton, lost to Sheffield United, then obviously got that famous win over Man United. Went Man United when PVA got a goal in the last minute, and then this season uh, we beat Southampton, we beat Man United again, and then obviously Everton who are in great form. Which I think if fans were in the stadium, I think Everton would have got um, Europe. As I think it's such a weird season. Every, like, last day, pe three teams fighting for Europa League spots. Um, I mean, Champions League spots, and I think two or three teams fighting for Europa League. Maybe four. I can't even remember. Uh, but worst player, I'd give it to Jordan Ayew. And I know he last season he scored goals and stuff, but this season he's got one goal. He's been very. Yeah, he hasn't been the best. Even his goal against Leeds, it was kind of on a plate for him. I think anyone would have scored it. I think Mitchell would have got a goal as well. Even obviously Mitchell, best striker for Ballon d'Or, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think I he's just been a bit of a shadow of his former self. Like when he came in alone, he was well. He didn't play terrible, but he weren't good. He came in, had a great season, and he's turned. He's turned from a great player to not the best player. I think we should maybe look to get funds for him or maybe keep him as an option. But I think Benteke and Mateta have got to be the two strikers to start. Um, but moving on to the most improved player, Benteke, Jairo. Benteke found form near the end of the season. I think he's been really, really solid. Um, and he scored goals when we needed them. Obviously, we could have... If we just held on after half time, we could have got a draw, well, two draws against Spurs. Well, obviously, that slipped away with Bale and Kane just being unbelievable as they have all season. Um, but yeah, hopefully, we can push on next season. And I think Ben Teke, if he pushes on, he can have one of the best seasons he's ever had for Palace. We'll see this season the best season he's ever had. But hopefully, next season, he'll be even better. I think he might be like a Jordan Knight. I don't think he'll do too well next season, but I'll still give him a one year contract, see what happens. 
and yeah, hopefully he'll be the same as last season. My opinions, moving on to my opinions on Roy leaving. I'm sad to see him go, but I have I have been shouting, no, not shouting all season, but I've been saying all season, it is time for him to move on. We need a new manager, we need to play a new style, and we need just a younger manager with create more creative ideas. And that moves me swiftly on to the, play, uh, to the manager that I think we should bring in. Obviously, Eddie Howe's in the books, Frank Lampard. I've, I've even seen Michael Carrick and, um, what's his name? Ste uh, Steven, no, not Steven Gerrard. What's the guy? John Terry uh, being in the mix for the job. I think it should be Frank Lampard. Um, I think he's well. He's obviously, he's been proven. He had a transfer ban. He done really well with Chelsea. He got money and didn't do much well. So that's either he didn't cope underneath the pressure with the players, or the players didn't perform for him. He lost the dressing room, or he just works well with a tinier budget where he works with a squad, which is what Palace have. We don't have the biggest budget. We're not going to give him. 400 mil to go get Havertz, Werner, all the best players, like best up and coming players. We're not going to give him that money. We're going to give him maybe 26 million starting off, and then if he can do something, maybe push up to 30, 40 million. But I think we should get him frank. He'll give new players a chance. Uh, but yeah, that's it for my season review. Thank you for having me on, Tristan, and keep up with the channel. It's been a life where I said Palace have had a very consistent season because we haven't. It's been ups and downs in the season, you know, loads of injuries, inconsistency, like when we had the, the 7 0 loss to Liverpool, the 4 loss to Spurs, but then there's also been ups as well. The 2 1 against Brighton, and you know, the 3 1 against Man United at Old Trafford. So, you know, there, there hasn't, been, it hasn't been a great season, but it hasn't, it hasn't been a bad season as well. Roy didn't go out on a high, unfortunately, to Liverpool, but he's still one of our own and he's a great manager from the terrace to the dugout. He's been a brilliant manager. And yes, this season hasn't been one of the best, but at least we all know that he's a football club legend for us. And we're going to have probably most likely Frank Lampard or that's who, that's who we're linked to next season. But wherever we go next season, we are united as one and we're going to become a great club in the future. Massive thanks to them Crystal Palace fans sending me their clips, voicing their opinion on, on how the season went. Big up to them. This season overall was probably one of the worst seasons since the 16-17 season when Anna Party got sacked and big, big Sam came into the club and took over and kept us up and that. I mean, really poor because even 60 plus goals, um, too many mistakes, too many fashions, a 7-0 to Liverpool, 4-1 over Chelsea. 4 0 away to City, 3 0 away to Villa, 3 0 to Burnley. I can go on and on and on. 4 1 away to Tottenham. Really not good enough. It shows how old the squad's getting on, how you know how it's aging. You know, it shows the players and things at the club in general was just a bit stale. We had the same team from a couple of years ago. Not many changes apart from the signings like Abiri Eze, um, Nathaniel Klein, and that. Uh, really was disappointed with Roy, even though he is gone for all good use right now. Is that he didn't bring any bloody youngsters into the team. He didn't put them on the bench. Didn't even bring them on the subs. Didn't even bring players like Omelabu on. You know, put them in the squad. He's been doing really well for the the recent young Crystal Palace team that got promoted. You know, winning the playoffs and that. Had 3,000 fans in that game as well. So it was really good to see the interaction with the younger at Crystal Palace and the Palace fans as well. That's a first. I haven't seen that in time. You know, 3,000 at a game like that. It's pretty good going, but it's disappointing. It's really just sums up how much of this a mess this club is in right now. Money-wise, signing players, players that half the squad's out of bloody contract. You've got players like Will who allegedly came out and say recently that they're not willing to stay at the club for next season. They want to leave. Eze's out to the end of the year, for God's sake. It's not looking good. The club's in a right mess. We haven't even decided on a manager yet. Let's be real, I don't think Lampard is coming because we would have announced it by now. You know, he said he wanted to come and be the Palace manager, but half the bloody Palace boards didn't really, weren't really sure about him becoming charge, becoming in charge of the club. Like, it's just, it's, it's just shambles, shambolic, all over the place, unorganised. The communication is pretty poor at the club right now, but we, during, like, throughout the board, you know, to, to the fans as well, There's not, they ain't telling us nothing. They're telling us what's happening for next season. They're not telling us if there are any new signings. I don't even know who we're going to sign. We think we signed one player and that's it. But I don't even know the new, if, if the new manager does come in, would he even play that new player? Because he didn't sign him. The club just signed him. Or he chose to sign for Palace. Like, it's ridiculous, man. It's just really disorganised. It's just nothing's going on. Fortunately, the Euros are coming up this summer. I've got some content for that. Stay tuned for that. My predictions and watch alongs as well. I'm a few day out, too, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean... Not good enough, not good enough. So I've said what I've had to say. You've been watching my watch alongs and the vlogs and that that I've done this season. 
you're on, you, I've said too much <laughs> to count of how bad we have been, of how poor and up and down the season has been. So, yeah, that, 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 that's just, just the way it is, really. And if we don't buck our ideas up soon and we don't sort out this summer, we're going to be in relegation and we're going to be in the bottom three by the end of the year. We don't sort ourselves out for next season because it's going to be absolutely shampooed. Like, I'm not looking forward to it in one bloody bit. Like, share and subscribe. Got some content coming for the Euros soon as well. Instagram and Snapchat link in my description down below. Yeah, in a bit.